Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here then hi my name is Carrington big huge special welcome to you if you enjoy trying out new makeup trying out old makeup shop my stashes full faces of nothing new if you enjoy project pans if you enjoy empties if you enjoy hauls if you enjoy everything makeup related as well as we sprinkle in some true crime here and there then go ahead hit that subscribe button Click the little bell so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. As well, if this is your 10th time, 100th time, 50th time, second time here, and you still have not yet hit that subscribe button, I absolutely invite you to do so. Obviously, you want to join this dumpster fire, dumpster fire, dumpster fire of a channel. And let's go ahead and let's get into today's video. All right, so I bought some, not all, of the Too Faced to Femme collection. So I only bought four of the lip options. I bought the blush and I did buy the palette. So we're going to be diving in. We're going to be doing some swatches um, and we're going to be just like talking about like the overall prices of things um, as well as if I think they are worth the money. So if you guys are excited to see what I think of this collection, what I recommend it, then definitely keep on watching. So first things first, not like it's Too Faced, but it's not the Too Femme related, is I'm going to take one of these Hangover um, Pillow Balm from like their little holiday set. Um, it comes with four like mini ones. I'm just going to take, oh, what is this one? Just says lip tint. So I don't think this one is like flavored with anything. I don't know. It might be. Um, and we're, I've never tried these, so I'm just going to try these out. Oh, no and okay it smells kind of like pina coladas that's what it smells like and just kind of ooh, put that on my lips mm. to help prep my lips for later on wow that's really comfortable i like those so then the next things that we have in this collection is we have some um like little lip options these are the heart core lipsticks i got four of them um i will leave the prices of everything up on the screen there were a few more i think there was a total of like six or eight i just wanted to just get the colors that i liked because if i don't like this formula now i have like six or eight so i felt like four was even like a little bit too much truthfully especially if i don't like it but um you know, I think that these are really good. The ones that I got are pretty good options. So, um, this is kind of what the, so this is what like the outer cartridge looks like. It's got like, uh, it says two femme on it. Got some like beautiful butterflies. The top of it has, it has a heart with like the shade names in it. <clears throat> so I think that's really cute. And this is the component. It's got like a gold top that has the TF in it for Too Faced. Um, and like a little heart bottom and it has like the shades there as well. So this first one is nothing compares to you. So then when you open it up a really sleek gold tube and this is what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. Nothing, nothing compares to you. It's kind of got like a little bit of like a fruity ish scent to it. The next one is going to be the shade Sweet Tea. This looks like it's going to be slightly like a bit darker. Okay, so it's kind of in a way like a mauve nude. So these are very much like very, I want to say almost balmy. I don't, you know, I don't, you can see some of the shine. I don't want to say this is necessarily like a matte lipstick or even a satin. I feel like this is more balmy. The next one we have is the shade Never Grow Up. This is definitely more of like a light nude. Definitely like a very pinky nude. So that's probably going to be like a top contender. One thing that I'm noticing is like the heart kind of gets destroyed. Um, that's in the middle. So that drives you nuts. I don't know if you'll like these. Um, and the last one I got is the shade Too Femme. And again, this kind of seems like a pinkish. So this is very pink like definitely a much more pink so we've got a couple nude options and we have a bright option 
Um, one thing in the collection that I did not get, I did not see the need to get, is the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascaras. I had like butterflies on it. I do not care for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I just think there are better out there. And so I'm not going to buy a mascara that I don't particularly like just because it has butterflies on it and goes with the collection. I'm just not. So next up is going to be the blush. Um, this is the Too Femme Blush. Uh, does it have a shade name? Is it just called Blush? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think, oh, Butterfly Babe is what it's called. So it's all, and it comes in like a little cardboard packaging, really cute pink, and then it's got some like butterflies and like the butterflies are raised. So I really like those side. You do get like this little mirror that's surrounded by some butterflies. The butterflies aren't raised. And then this is what the inside looks like. So it's definitely like a very glowy shimmery type blush. So we're going to go ahead and swatch this. Put it right down here. So yeah, that's definitely like very glowy and also very glittery. I will say though, however, the butterflies, and now that I've swatched it, the gold overspray, the glittery gold overspray starting to go away. So I'm kind of wondering how this is going to perform after like the gold overspray is completely gone. Like there is going to be like some glitter that is in like the, I mean, even no, cause even, so your first couple of times is going to be glittery. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'll put this up here. Where I swatched here in the center, this glitter's kind of gone, but the overspray of the pink and the butterflies are very sparkly. So I wonder if this is going to turn into like a little bit more of like a matte-ish blush and not quite as like sparkly, um, which kind of drives me nuts that they do that. <clears throat> like just, just leave it. Like just either make it a matte blush or a glowy blush. Like just not have like half of it, it's glowy half the time and then it's not. That drives me insane. So then the next and last thing that I purchased was the Too Faced Too Femme um, eyeshadow palette. Um, the packaging is blue with some butterflies. So far it's been like pink with butterflies, but this is blue with butterflies. You can definitely feel the butterflies, the blue packaging. I will say this looks very tiny. And this is a $40 palette, but look how tiny this is. Like these are very tiny shades for $40. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and start doing some swatches. All right, so we have this shade right here, Hearts of Flutter, probably really good like eye setting shade. Um, then we have this shade right here called Hard On. This one right here is really hard to see. This is called Mint To Be. Um, it's like a the mint, um, the mint shimmer right here. So it's definitely very like topperish. Um, then we have the shade right here called make it rain that did not swatch well we have one right here that you can't even see um and that is called crystal's crush we've got you give me butterflies um and then we have free to be femme oh all right then we have another one you can't really see a soft landing we have hear me roar we have pretty powerful we have oh, these are hard to think pink too femme fiercely femme and then the very last shade is queen of everything so there here are all of the swatches of all of the products the eyeshadow palette is kind of <clears throat> disappointing um in terms of like swatches of course, swatches don't tell the whole story, so, you know, this could go a completely and totally different route. Um, the one thing I was disappointed on was with the blush. Like, it looks like it's very glowy. Like, right here, got some, like, in intense sparkles. But as I showed you in, like, the pan, like, once I start, um, you know, swatching it, the silver, the glitter sparkly overlay kind of disappears. So I wonder how it's going to perform later on after I've worked off the, the glitter overlay. I have my eyelids primed with my um, Ulta Matte Eye Primer. That's what's in my shop, my stash. So that's what I'm using. Um, so then I'm gonna go ahead and I saw a look on Instagram that Too Faced had posted and I'm gonna try my best to recreate this. I don't know how well it's going to go. 
let's go ahead and let's just dive on into this um, first shade right here so we can go ahead and kind of set the eyelid um, to prep it for the shadows that I'm going to be using just kind of stamp it on yeah see it makes my eyes definitely like a little bit lighter and brighter which is going to be really good for some of those like more um, pastel light type of shades there we go okay the next color I'm going to go into because it doesn't really specify like what shades they necessarily went into but I'm going to go in with the shade right here called You Give Me Butterflies. I'm going to take that on the big fluffy brush first and just start working that into my crease. Is this doing anything? <laughs> hold on. Hold, please. Okay. Well, here's the thing this is like a somewhat of a deep shade and i have dunked my brush in completely coated it three times and not much of anything's really happening hmm. okay well I'm literally just packing it on both eyelids like I have gone in like five six times on this shade this is the shade and this is what we're getting after five or six times I'm gonna go ahead and move on into another shade let's go in with this shade right here try this out see see what we get and I'll leave the picture up in the corner of like what my inspiration is and see you know what we get yeah I don't yeah these are very powdery. There's tons of kick up. And here's the thing. I'm usually like not upset about kick up. Like I know that like some shades have kick up and I'm okay with that. Like I'm 100% like perfectly fine with the fact that kick up is a thing. But what I don't like is when there's, it's so kick up-y and powdery and then like nothing is happening on the eyes. Like, like nothing is happening. Like, this is my third time going in, and I'm literally packing it on to get it to even show up just a little bit. It's driving me nuts. So then, for, like, my outer corner, it looked kind of like they went into, like, this shade right here, which is the Too, Too Femme <coughs> shade. I'm, I'm counting on you and we're just gonna start this and like the <sighs> okay the photos I'm 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 being so dead serious have to be photoshopped I mean I was, they probably are but like there ha there's no way they used this palette this quality palette to get like the look that they did like oh man this is rough but I will say that pillow bomb that's nice my lips feel great oh there's just so much fallout as well so it's like not even packing a punch and then just like the fallout is atrocious Oh, you guys, this is so bad. Okay. All right. We're just going to keep on keeping on. Because I'm Joe Dirt. Okay, so then I need to go into the shade, make it rain, and pack that all over the lid in the inner corner. Got a good packing brush. We're just going to start packing that that on okay so here we are going I'm going in right now with like my fourth layer to like just pack this on literally layer number four to pack this on I just I cannot okay you're just so powdery and so chalky I 
I hate this so much. The fallout is atrocious. The kick up is atrocious. It flakes away. You can barely get any pigment. Oh, <clears throat> okay. So I need to clean up my eyes. All right. All right. And then I'm going to go, <clears throat> go ahead, go off camera and then come back so we can try out the blush and, and, and some, and some of these lipsticks. I'll be right back. All right. So we are, we're back. We are doing the thing. So what I'm going to do then is I'm now going to do the lower lash line. So I'm going to take that first shade that we went into this right here and just focus that on buffing that out along the lower lash line. Just focus in it there. Then I'll go over the top of it with that brown shade. Going to the green shade because I need to focus that on like my inner corner. Oh geez, this just this does not show up well. I'm packing. So then they for the inner corner part they have taken like this meant to be shade um, and put that really towards like the inner portion of the eye. Oh, it's so crumbly. Oh la la la. Oh my god. It's literally like crumbling everywhere. What the heck? Okay. And then, yep, just focus that on like the very like outer portion of the eye. Mm, okay, let's try a finger maybe. It's not really picking up on a finger either. It just keeps crumbling away. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> All right, so this is uh, definitely just like slightly a little bit frustrating. So now we're gonna go on into the blush. I already have my highlighter and my bronzer on. So then we're just gonna take some on this brush. Oh. oh no. Okay, so first of all, it's so it just like falls apart. Okay. So then you have a lot on there. Let's try tapping it. Wow. Okay. It's so glittery. It's very glittery. It's, oh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like just, it's so glittery. Like the whole thing is glittery. Like look at how much fallout is like getting on the pan. So the last step of this whole entire routine is a lip option. I think I wanna take, I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we're gonna start off with the shade Sweet Tea. It's a little bit more of a darker shade and kind of focus that on like the outside of the lips. They're very nice and hydrating. Okay. And then we're gonna take the shade Never Grow Up, which is just a little bit lighter and focus that in the center. I don't necessarily know that you can tell like a huge difference in like the colors, but they're very nice, very hydrating, have like a fruity-ish uh, kind of a scent to it. 
Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's just, let's dive on into my final thoughts because boy, do I have thoughts and we're talking thoughts, not thoughts. Unrelated side note, these are, these are really good. These are like so, so good. I love these. Just not related to the collection, but they're good. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to just dive on into, um, everything so i have these in front of me first so let's talk about these lip options i really do like something really nice and hydrating on the lips i know i know they're not going to last a really long time or like matte lips liquid lipsticks are but i personally for me this is like a personal preference so just remember that i personally like something that i can just reapply easily and i find like with these i feel like they come off in a more of an even layer and I can just easily reapply whereas I sometimes feel like with like a matte liquid lipstick if you know it comes off right in the center kind of like trying to reapply doesn't really necessarily go as well versus like you I feel like with the matte liquid lipstick I need to remove the whole thing and sometimes if I don't have you know some items with me like a cleansing balm or something like that it's harder to get off and so then the, the application just isn't as even or as good whereas these these just wear off you can just wipe them off and you just reapply no problems no issues i like the hydration i like i think the color is really nice i think um they look really beautiful just how hydrating they are the scent is nice it's not overpowering terrible i think this is just i think this is a really good everyday product uh, if you're wanting something nice and hydrating that gives you a little bit of tint of color on the lips. I think if that's what you're looking for, I think you're going to like these. In terms of the the um, the the blush. So I, as we had stated before, it has a very glittery overcast to it. Um, it does start to go away and it's not as glittery. I mean, it still has some glitter to it. So if you don't like really glittery blushes, I'm not talking glowy. I'm talking glittery. I feel like there are glowy blushes out there that don't have the amount of glitter in it that this does. So if you don't like a glittery blush, you will not like this. Um, I personally don't mind glittery blushes, but the issue is that this is just so heavy with glitter. Um, like, I mean, just like my whole cheek is just nothing but glitter. I don't like the overspray. I wish they didn't do the overspray. I get they're trying to market something as like cute and make people want to buy it. Honestly, just having the butterflies embossed in here without the overspray, I think that so would have gotten people to buy it. A lot of people love butterflies, the butterfly packaging. Easily been able to get somebody to buy it. I don't like how much kick up this has. I mean, it just like falls out of the pan as you guys seen. And the thing is, is like you have to be so careful because if you get too much on your brush and you try to tap it off, as you saw, when you go to tap it off, you tap all of it off your brush and then you have to go back in. So it, it's definitely like a blush you have to be very careful with not to get too much because if you get too much and you go to tap it off, well then you tap off the whole thing. But at the same time, it's just so glittery and, you know, sparkly and your whole cheek looks like you have nothing but glitter on it not necessarily my preference i don't really know if that's a lot of people's preferences so this is just something um that i personally wasn't the biggest fan of you know i'll use it i don't think it was the worst product i kind of want to see how well it works after all of the overspray is gone does it turn more matte is it still going to look like my cheeks are nothing but like sparkling snow on my sparkling snowflakes on my cheeks like is that what's going to happen Okay, last of all, this palette is trash. This palette is absolute trash, okay? This is a work of art. This is trash, okay? Um, I, you know, used four, five, I used five, six shades. I will say this is nice because all it does is just like really kind of sets your eyelids and prepares it for, you know, the colors. Um but the rest of them this is this basically blends out to nothing this basically gives very little color like do you see like how dark this is but what it's looking like on my eyes i went in with layers um as you guys saw like four five six layers of coating my brush with these colors and just nothing nothing happened the pink 
again, I was able to like pack it on there, but it had so much fallout on the face. Just so much. And again, I had to pack it on like four times. This green right here, I have packed that on like seven, eight times um, before trying to go in with the glitter. And then I like tried to pack it on again. And it's just, it just, it just isn't really doing much, right? It's not, it's not doing a lot. This shade right here crumbles so bad and it just doesn't look like much like even when you swatch it like it just doesn't look like it's doing much of anything and i feel like a lot of those shimmers are similar to this kind of formula where it's very just like sheer it doesn't really pack much of a punch if any truthfully like it's supposed to be here on my inner corner and like you can kind of see it but i had to really pack it on with a finger with a brush and it just started to crumble and fall and fade away I just you know I I don't really necessarily think this is the best Too Faced palette and honestly I would save your money um, on this palette I get like the butterfly whole thing is cute the color story looks like it's going to be like a very beautiful springtime color story and it's going to be just like an incredible work of art it is not a work of art. It is trash. There's just no way they were able to get that with this. There's just, it's just not possible. Um, so yeah, that is it for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy testing new makeup, I have tons of new makeup videos coming up, such as the Scott Barnes Music Box Collection. I purchased that. That will be coming here shortly. Um, if you guys like when people use like their products from like Shop My Stashes, Project Pants, I have a couple of those videos coming as well. So make sure that you guys have hit that subscribe button and have clicked that little bell so you'll be notified of those future uploads. As well as don't forget to hit this thumbs up video. This lets me know that you guys like new makeup release try-ons. This lets YouTube know so they can recommend similar videos like this. And that is it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.